Let's say, um, for this problem, I have f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 8 divided by x squared plus 5x plus 4. And let's say the question is asking, find the removable discontinuities, the non-removable discontinuities, the vertical asymptote, the horizontal asymptote, the domain, and the range. All right? So the first thing I said to Misha was to always factor. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have an opportunity to factor, we have to factor. So I'm just going to write them over here, and let's see how I can factor these. So this can factor to x plus 4 times x minus 2. Okay. This one, x squared plus 5x plus 4, can be factored into x plus 4 times x plus 1. Would everybody agree with my factoring technique? Because you need to know how to do it really quickly. So I can rewrite this as the factored form. Okay. Okay. Now, in the factored form, the first thing I always like to do is find the vertical asymptote, right? But before I get to that, let me just kind of get through a point. Um, ladies and gentlemen, when we have an asymptote, let's say my asymptote was at. Zero. If you guys are going to take your marker or your pen or whatever, and you were to graph this line, okay, you cannot graph this line unless you lift it up and then put it back over here to continue graphing it, right? That means this graph is not continuous, right? It doesn't connect to the other graph, right? It's not continuous. Hold on. So you have to connect it. That means it's discontinuous. At what values is it discontinuous? At zero. Because that's where it's undefined, right? For this is the reciprocal function. So we look at this and say, when is my graph undefined for this problem? It's an undefined at, we say x cannot equal um, negative 4 and x cannot equal negative 1, right? Because when x equals negative 4, it's 0 on the bottom. When x equals negative 1, it's 0 on the bottom. Does everybody agree with that? Yes? OK. But here's where the discontinuities come into play. I, once these are factored, this goes to 1, right? Yes? So this is still a discontinuity. You still cannot equal negative 4, but you can factor it out. So, or when you factor, it gets canceled. So it's what we call removable. This x plus 1 is still a discontinuity, but it cannot, when factored, it cannot divide out. You cannot factor out. So therefore, this is non-removable. So your removable would be x equals negative 1. Non-removable is x cannot equal negative 1. I'm sorry. Your removable is x equals negative 4. Your non-removable equals x equals negative 1. So there's a couple things I just want to go over. So that's removable and non-removable. Does that make sense? They're both discontinuities. You both cannot have x equals negative 4 and x equals negative 1 in your denominator. Does that make sense? Because then it makes your denominator equal to 0. However, this one we can eliminate by factoring. So it's removable. This one is non-removable. All right. Now let's go to the vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptotes are only going to be your non-removable. Okay. So therefore, your vertical asymptote is x equals negative one. All right. Because that negative one, that's a vertical asymptote. Your non-removable is just a point that's a discontinuity. Your horizontal asymptote. We look at our denominators. When our, I'm sorry, we look at our degrees. When our degrees are exactly the same, we take our leading coefficients, which is 1 over 1, and we divide them. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals 1 over 1, which just equals 1. So we have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 1, a horizontal asymptote at 1. Last thing, let's do domain and range. Domain is the set of all values, except for your x value. That, that can't be defined, right? So the domain is going to be all real numbers except x cannot equal negative 4 and x cannot equal negative 1. Your range is going to be all real numbers except y cannot equal 1. On your mark, get set, go. Oh. 